What's going on guys? Zero Degrees here and today I'm going to be showing you how you can add flashes to your videos in Final Cut Pro X. First thing that I want to say is do not use transitions for the flash. It will not work. What you're going to need to do is start a new project and you're going to need one white picture or you can use part of a video and just turn the exposure up. Either way works. Drag that down into your project. I would recommend making this about one second. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making basically just a white picture fading in and out pretty quickly and then later on we'll be putting this over a video and making it soft light. So how you're going to do this is grab your video, make sure it's full screen. You're going to need to add a cross dissolve, just right click it or Apple T and add cross dissolve. Make sure you select all of it, and you're going to need to make this a compound clip. You just have to press Option and G. And there you go. You have a flash, but for what you're going to need to do before you can add it is cut off both of these ends. Otherwise, it'll be dark, and then it will flash afterwards, and it looks pretty bad. So there you go. I recommend doing it to about that, so it's just kind of a darkish kind of a gray. And then that's it. I'll be showing you how you can add this in just a second. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, one thing that I forgot to mention in the last section is you will need to export the video and then re-import it back into Final Cut so that you can add it to new projects. As you can see, I've already done that here. I'll just go and drag it down into my project. Make sure that it is sized correctly. There we go. Okay, and then you're going to need to grab it, go into this sidebar over here. If it's not already up, press the I button right here. Scroll all the way down to soft light. And there we go. You can see the flash will go and let this render up so that you can see it. There we go. And it's a pretty popular effect. It looks really cool. It's a lot easier than what a lot of people do. Is a lot, what a lot of people do is they zoom in all the way, and then they grab the blade tool and they just cut every little section out, and just turn the exposure up like two clicks every single time. It takes forever. It's really tedious. I much more recommend just doing this. Some cool things that you can do with it are. I like to grab sometimes grab the middle like right here and then slow down the back end. It looks really nice. Just so it fades out slower. I use that a lot on like trick shotting and stuff, like right after I use a shot, stuff like that. Um, if you would like, you can also make it so it's a little tighter just by turning up the exposure. And you can even turn it into like a transition if you would like. Uh, if you found this guide helpful, please leave a like and thank you for watching.